Hi students, welcome to English class. Today we are going to talk about summary writing tips. One of the very important topics, uh, how to write down summary of the lesson, fiction or non-fiction. So here I have few tips for you uh, for summary writing. So the first one is for writing down the summary, you need to read the chapter thoroughly. That is very important. Whether the teacher teaches it in the class, uh, the story, fiction or non-fiction, or you read it yourself, it's very important that you understand the chapter thoroughly. So it is the best uh, way that you read the entire chapter uh, first before making an outline for your summary. So skimming will not help you. Skimming is only good when you want to get uh, certain information from the lesson. But uh, if you want to write down the summary, you need to understand the lesson thoroughly. Make sure that you have completely understood the gist and the chapter as a whole. So this is very important that you understand the chapter as a whole. Now the next point is the first one was reading the chapter thoroughly. The second point is breaking down your ideas. Now if the uh, story is short one, if it is one to two paragraphs, so it is very easy to summarize it. But if the story um, uh, unfolds to six to seven paragraphs or if it, it is lengthy one, then you need to break down your ideas. Now. For shorter text, what you can do, you can write one to two sentence summary of each paragraph. This will make it easier for you to combine and formulate a coherent summary where the ideas are combined with each other. And for longer text, you should make an outline. Now here it is very important. You have to separate the major sections that is focus on a common topic of each paragraph and the supporting details for that each section. Okay. Now, the next point, now breaking down your ideas, it comes where the story is very lengthy. If the story is short, you don't need to break down the ideas into paragraphs, okay? But if the story is lengthy, fiction or non-fiction, if the title, the text is lengthy one, then you need to break down every paragraph, okay? Next is write in columns. This is also for lengthy uh, uh, stories. A handy technique, this is very useful uh, technique in summarizing, uh, so... This technique asks you to divide the page into two columns. You're writing into two columns. The first column would be for the important information. Important information. And the second one would, would be for trivial. Trivial means insignificant or unimportant. Okay, trivial information. The first column for the inf uh, important information and second column for uh, trivial information. So you can also use the columns for the main subject and its supporting details. This will really help you a lot in writing uh, the summary of the lesson if the lesson is very lengthy. Then always write a rough draft. This is very important. Many students, they go for the final. They, they don't uh, think about writing a rough draft. They once write and they consider it uh, as the last copy. This is not good. Okay, When you're writing down the summary, in any writing scenario, writing a rough draft is always key to uh, publishing good quality outputs or good quality uh, work. Now, rough drafts will save you from a lot of corrections. When writing, you, uh, when writing your rough draft, only refer to the original to check some points and proofread your summary thoroughly. Okay, so rough draft, it, it saves you from a lot of correction work. Uh, and many students, why, uh, why they are unable to score good marks in exams? Because they are not in the habit of writing uh, summaries. They, if a teacher gives them homework, so they, once or twice they will write it down and they won't go for a rough drafting. Okay, so rough draft is very important. Before you submit your final work, make a rough draft, go through it, take the opinion of your uh, teacher, sometimes take the opinion of your parents also. They can also help you a lot, your siblings also. So you can show your rough draft to them so they can uh, point out if there is a certain correction work. Okay. So next is take your time. Yes. Hasty writing is never a good idea. Haste makes waste. You might have uh, un uh, heard of that proverb and it's quite uh, true. So never go for hasty writing. Okay. Take your time to fully understand the chapter as a whole. See, read the lesson, read the story as many times as possible until or unless you are pretty familiar with the ideas and you understand the lesson completely. So mistakes can be avoided if you have full knowledge of your uh, chapter and you take your time into finding the important and 
trivial details you you are familiar what is important in the lesson and what are the um, insignificant or unimportant details next one is use sentence variety this is very important when you are writing your uh, summary any creative work now in order to make your summary more interesting you uh, you should not focus on one sentence formation usually what do these students do they write simple sentences um, she is my friend she went there she did this she did that now this is not this is not the case you have to use a variety of sentences now variety of sentences mean it means you have to use compound and complex sentences rather than um, simple sentences so this will uh, break the monotony and uh, uh, it will not create boredom or monotony in your writing for that one you need to add up variety of sentences you should be familiar with different uh, sentence structures so that you can add up in your writing write down complex sentences rather than writing simple ones now the last point is writing an interesting title now uh, remember the chapter summary titles are only uh, needed when the examiner asks you for that one. Now, chapter summary titles are not limited to the convention titles, conventional titles. Now, conventional titles are, for example, we read the story Sun Swallow. It can be replaced by the title The Flying Boy or Soaring with Birds. These titles could be uh, given to that one. But remember, don't change the original text title unless your examiner asks you to do this. This is very important. You, you can write down interesting title when the examiner asks you to do this. If already the title is given uh, in the text, you are not supposed to change it. Uh -huh. If the examiner asks you that you have to uh, suggest another suitable title, you can go for interesting titles. Now, here I have... A very good tip for you people to write down the summary. Somebody wanted, but so then. These abbreviations will help you a lot. Someone, S for somebody, W for wanted, B for but, S for so, T for then. Somebody wanted, but so then. But now each letter, it deals with certain things. Somebody, it refers to who is the main character in your summary. Wanted. Somebody wanted. W stands for what does the main character want. B stands for what is the problem, what is the issue, what is the conflict in the story. So stands for how does the character try to solve the problem. And T stands for then and how does the story end. So these um, tips can help you to write down an informative and uh, impressive summary. Here is a quick recap of... Uh, writing summary tips first one is you need to do thorough reading second one is breaking down ideas if this uh, le uh, chapter is lengthy or long then write in columns see i have told you what you can write down in two columns important information and trivial information okay or main details and the supporting details then make a rough draft take your time never do it in a haste Use variety of sentences, complex and compound sentences rather than writing only in simple sentences. Then suggest a suitable title. I told you optional. Only you can go for uh, 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 suggesting a suitable title if the examiner asks. Now here I have few samples for you. Non-fiction summary writing, the text, then you have to write down the title of the text is about the main idea then you explain it first you should know what is the text about secondly supporting details this and that you have to write down and if you're writing down the summary of uh, fiction of the story the story is about what so here you can go for okay the story is the title of the story the characters you have to describe where the story takes place how the story begins first next finally this this is very important first Next, finally, then, all these are the uh, transitional words, transitional devices. So, in your summary, always use the transitions, transitional words you need to use first, then, now, afterwards, in the end, in a nutshell, in the beginning, in the last, in the middle. So, these are the transitions that you have to use. Now, here I have one example of uh, 
summarizing uh, how the book unfolds if you have read any book now you know book is quite lengthy so here is a very good example of uh, the summary of the book if you have read any book so you can write down the summary the first part of the book introduces the reader to what it's uh, like to be a wizard the reader experiences how amazing this is with uh, harry himself the writer who is new to this world as well or the main character okay as the story goes on it's clear that something dark is happening at Hogwarts and Harry needs his new friends Ron and uh, Hermione to figure out what it is. The end of the book focuses on a series of tests and trials that Harry could not make it through without uh, relying on friendship and his mother's love. Now see uh, the whole book is transformed into a short summary. So this is how we summarize our ideas, our text fiction or non-fiction hopefully you would have understood uh, today's topic and you'll be able to write down summary in an impressive way thank you for listening